Hi everyone and welcome to a short video on how to add a koi food dispersal system. So as you can see there, the koi are just about to be fed using an X-Clear professional feeder. Now what I found was, was when I didn't have the air dispersal system, the bottom drain was running, the koi would get fed and all the food would be pushed right into the corner. Um, and you get a lot of koi coming up, knocking off each other and causing damage to one another. So I come up with this for a little bit of advice off the Facebook forums. So as you can see there, the air's been running, the food's come out of the hopper and it's spreading across the pond nicely and giving all the koi, no matter how big they are, a chance to feed. Which is obviously really important if you want to grow the little ones on and the, the big ones eating all the food, it gives them a chance to feed uh, easily without being bullied if you want off the food and, and possibly getting damaged or lift out of the water as the big ones come up. So the koi is just going around there mopping. You can see how, how far the food's gone out for them to mop up. It's given the koi plenty of time to, to spot the struggling pieces of food, get up and, uh, and take them. Now what makes things worse in this scenario is I've got far too many koi. This, this pond is two and a half thousand gallons roughly uh, and there is 29 koi in there which I know is too much. Uh, currently running about a 35% trickle in trickle out every week just to help the parameters but the system does work quite well so uh, this is just showing you how I've got it set up on the left there is the normal uh, bottom drain area drain which is off and the, on the right there is the air dispersal pump and you can see there that's off now that's just turned off it just keeps the water really calm, the koi can, can pick everything else up and that's just the X-Clear timer. And that's all enclosed in two ABS weatherproof enclosures, just to make sure that there's no water affecting the electricity. Even though some of them are weatherproof, it says I don't want to take that risk. The other thing that's just handy on this is I've installed a ball valve on the end of a T-piece that comes out the air pump. And that helps control the flow of air through the air stones. Before it was bubbling far too fast, the, the food was wanting to come out. Non-return valve there, and that goes all the way around the back of the drum, and then goes all the way around the side of the pond. And at the end of there, I've got some pneumatic uh, fittings that goes to a hose tail um, and some normal flexi pipe. And then on the end of those pipes are two air stones. You just see the fittings there. It's just two random air stones I had lying in the garage. We still a great job of pushing the food out. And this is what it looks like when the Adrian. Yeah, the bottom aerated bottom drain should I see it comes back on that's how it normally runs thanks for watching and look out for more of my how-to videos coming up soon